BTS is one of the biggest pop groups in the world. They're a K-pop boy band from South Korea and have made it big on the world stage. Their latest album was the first by a Korean act to hit number one in the US. We're back with BTS and They've been on Ellen, performed at the American Music Awards, and they've even broken a YouTube record set by Taylor Swift when their single, Idol, was viewed more than 45 million times within 24 hours of its release. They are huge. So what's next for the Sensational 7? Who, who dresses you guys? You look amazing. We shall now begin the voting process. International diplomacy. That's right, BTS will be at the United Nations September 24th, right in the middle of one of the biggest UN meetings of the year, the United Nations General Assembly. All the heavy hitters on the world stage will be there, and BTS is helping launch UNICEF's Generation Unlimited. According to UNICEF, the goal of Generation Unlimited is to get every young person into quality education, training, or employment by 2030. UNICEF hopes that BTS can hold the attention of the young people it's targeting, maybe more so than, say, World Bank Group President Jim Yong Kim or High Representative of the European Union for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy, Ms. Federica Mogherini, two of the global leaders taking part in the launch of Generation Unlimited alongside the supergroup. With all due respect to the highly accomplished Ms. Mogherini and Mr. Kim, they do not have a fan base in the millions dubbed the BTS Army. BTS also have a message for young people in Generation Unlimited. They hope that their own Love Myself campaign will inspire young people to find love from within and spread that love to other youth. It's a simple message echoing another supergroup that took the world by storm decades ago. All you need is love, and maybe money, and influence, and a strategy. Which is probably why all those other folks without an army of passionate fans will be there as well.